Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. We are going to take a look at Year 40, Prime Factory. So in this one you're supposed to take the input and um, output the prime factors of that number. So meaning the prime numbers that when multiplied uh, end up resulting in that number. Uh, so for 12 that would be 2 times 2 is 4 uh, times 3 is 12 so 2 2 3 and we need to do that in ascending order so they uh, you can't just um, outbox them in any order you want you have to do it from smallest to largest prime number um, in order to do that you need some kind of starting point which is uh, what I want to put in that field the the prime field um, and you also you will have to do a modulo operation as well as a division or multiple divisions potentially so um, in order to have the appropriate counters for that, I um, copied from field 24 the zero into the fact field, which will be our, um, w which we will use for our division result. And then copy to prime and bump it up twice to end up with a two because two is the first prime number we are going to use. Um, then I take from the in box and put it to the input. Essentially what I do then, and again don't worry about the code, you will find that in the description and can just copy, um, is do a subtraction um, as part of a division, as you've seen with the previous ones where we had to do divisions. Um, in this case, we are interested in two things. Is the number that we have in our input field um, modulo the thing that we currently have in our prime field zero so it can be divided by that number without a remainder if so we have found a prime factor of that number um, if um, if we find that what we are going to do is um, we take the result of our division which will be in this field copy that to the input field and then see if we can find the first prime factor of that result by dividing further essentially D dividing the new input by that prime number and see if we can find a a prime number that um, input modulo prime will be zero and do that until we reach one as a factor in this uh, field and in, once we do, we found all our prime factors. So we have to outbox them intermediately. So once we find a, a prime factor, we have to outbox it and therefore we will also have to do it in ascending order. Okay, so the code, um, again, I initialized uh, the prime and the uh, division result field. Take from the inbox, copy it to the input field. Never mind that check that will come in later. Um, I start my division by subtracting um, the prime number. Um, I do that until I reach a negative. Um, but more about that later. Um, I copy to the current. Um, the current will be our intermediate result. Um, it, it, I need that because um, it, I'm, it might happen that if I realize that modulo the prime number is not zero I will have to revert and go back to my original input so I need to track this separately mm. so um, if it's not a negative I copy it to current I bump up my factor so this is my um, division part um, I then copy from current again if that is zero um, I copy my prime number and outbox it because I now found um, a result, a prime factor. Uh, copy from fact, from my uh, division re result, copy that to the input and then go on. Um, I, once I um, <coughs> found one of these, um, of these prime factors, uh, I continue with the division result, right? I copy it to input. I jump down here, reinitialize my um, division result and copy my input to the, uh, well, I, I, I copy from input just to have that uh, in hand essentially, and then jump right back over here and again, check for zero 
So uh, in case we uh, we end up with a zero, we found a result, and we can just look back to the right to the start. Um, and then basically, I just loop until I eventually hit a case where the uh, input minus the prime is negative. Uh, once that's the case, we uh, can go back to the start. Um, and on the way, we will have outbox everything. It's pretty tough to explain, and I'm not even sure that I made 100% sense, but I think it, it's a little bit clearer once we start looking at it step by step. So we start initializing initializing our factor and our prime. Bump it up to 2. Then we take the 12, put that into our input. Um, subtract the prime. We result in 10, so that's obviously not a negative, so we copy that to the current value bump up our factor, copy from the current again, that is not zero, so we continue. We subtract the prime again, not a negative, so we copy that back to our current, bump the factor up again, copy the current again, it's again not zero, so we can subtract our prime, perfect, copy it back, we do that a couple times, And now we hit zero. So the uh, the modulo is actually now zero. So we know that we we found a correct prime factor for this number, and we can unbox it. And now we take our division result, which is six. Copy that to the input and regard that as our new input. Uh, Reinitialize our factor, also our division result. take our input and then go right back here we are not at zero at the moment so we don't have uh, we don't have a uh, and an, a result yet so we um, subtract our prime number don't have a zero so copy that back to the current bump up our factor again subtract our prime number copy to the current if zero well it's not zero, so we subtract again. Copy that to our current. Bump up our factor. Copy from current. Now we have a zero, so we copy from our prime field and outbox it. Copy from our factor, our division result. Copy that to the input and regard that as our new input. Reinitialize our division result. copy from the input and we're not at zero so again we subtract our prime number do not hit zero put it there and now we reach a point where when we subtract our prime number from our current value we get into a negative which means that our prime number is no longer a valid prime number for this uh, for this uh, input so we copy from our input subtract prime so essentially I had to do this check again in order to um, uh, th there are some cases when I have to jump there directly and so I had to to reiterate through this which is a bit unfortunate but um, yeah I then bump up my prime number so now we have prime number three um, it we may intermittently hit a number that is not actually a prime number but uh, they will sort of be skipped over because they are then multiples of previous prime numbers mm, don't know if that makes perfect sense but um, it works let's just say that um, so I then bumped up my prime number and I copy from input and I'm back at my cycle so I subtract my prime number now I reach the zero but I copy to current first bump up my factor copy from current now we have zero we copy from prime and outbox it so that's our last prime factor in this case copy from factor so our division results copy to input reinitiate my uh, division result and uh, copy from input so it's not zero so i subtract my prime number uh, it's negative so i go down here i take from input 
and then subtract my prime number and now we reach a negative immediately which means that we are through with our process this is not very clean we could obviously have actually waited for a one which might have been a little bit better but still it works so we are back to the start we reinitiate um, this is a bit unfortunate um, normally I would probably have tried to not reinitiate my prime number each and every time but in order to save command lines for the size challenge I kind of had to do it and then yeah we go through the same process again we subtract until we hit either 0 or minus 1 in this case well a negative number in this case we hit 0 So here we hit zero again, now we have five. So this is one of these cases where we have to go th over multiple numbers, uh, well, prime factor candidates essentially, in order to find the right one. So now we have four, but four will not work, as it's not, not even a prime number, but uh, it's also not um, a number that you can use for a modular operation with five and end up with a result of zero. So we bump up our prime number up to 5, we get our 0, and now we can outbox our final prime factor 5. And yeah, we go on like that, takes a while unfortunately. And that's our result. Size challenge done. Unfortunately the speed challenge as you can see way off. So again I had to do a second one. And that one really wasn't that that great because it, it is it uses a bit of a hack. Essentially it's exactly the same code other than I um, in this case allowed myself to actually put some of the initiation steps a little further down and a little further up so divide it a little bit better. Um, but the mo other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same code, except that uh, the highest number that we will ever see on here, I, I think, was 20. I think I haven't seen any anything bigger than that. And just because of that, <coughs> we will never have any prime factors. Um, or we can basically say once we exceed 3 as a prime factor the next prime factor will be the number that is now stored in input um, this is not really mathematically correct in any way it just works because our input is limited in the way it is um, so essentially I initialized 4 the, the field 4 as well and um, do a down here when I have um, found a prime number uh, or well when I check uh, or when, when I bump up my prime number um, so it's essentially when my modular operation failed and um, I bump up my prime number to the next higher possible prime number candidate um, I also check whether this has already exceeded 4, so it's it's 5 or higher um, by subtracting 4. If it's a negative, um, we just go on as usual. If it's uh, a positive, meaning that um, the prime number we're currently looking at is bigger than 4, so it's 5 or higher, um, we can just copy from the input and outbox it. Uh, this was not actually my... Um, my finding that was something I found on the steam forums um, and really that only works because the numbers in our input are so limited if they weren't uh, this would not work at all but uh, this um, as I shall demonstrate does actually solve the speed challenge
I will try and find the um, uh, the Steam forum entry and and link it in the description. But um, it, if it if you, the link I paste in there won't work, then maybe this video has gotten to a point where that forum entry does not exist anymore. I have no idea how persistent they are, but we'll see. We well exceeded our size challenge, but we very much went under our speed challenge limit. And that is the Prime Factory, year 40. See you next time.